All right, I'm done screwing around with the audio setup I had previously. What I was doing was I'd gotten kind of lazy with the, well, in more ways than one, really, with the, with the playthrough with Leon, because I didn't feel like uh, setting up my proper microphone setup and all that kind of stuff. So I was using my headset mic. Headset mic isn't terrible when it comes to say, um, like, playing Battlefield or whatever. <laughs> but it's not really the best thing when you're trying to record intelligible <laughs> audio. So here I broke my actual microphone back out, and I've got it so the microphone is queued up at all times so I'm not so I'm not uh, constantly having to repress my buttons and all that shit got the electrical parts though so here I am now it's the same puzzle that we did in Claire's run through whoops Guess that was a sluice in there. And let's see, how does this work? There we go. Oh shit, no. There we go. Getting there. Getting there. There we are. that noise. What the hell not? Uh, huh? Yeah, but that doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental Umbrella is one of the benefactors. You told me this interview is about the new scholarship umbrella setup. <laughs> Come on, Annette. Nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G-Virus. Where did you hear about this? And that big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are you going to talk to me, or are you going to... This interview is over. <laughs> Bitch. Hmm. What are they after? And for the fact that his head smashed in pretty good, I'd be worried they'd be coming back as a zombie. I do like how they did kill him differently this time. Where it was William Birkin that had killed him in the original game, it was the tyrant that got him this time. In quite a spectacular fashion, too. Makes me wonder what's on the other side of this wall. I know there's, like, uh free cam hacks that I could use to get through there, but I doubt there's anything to actually see. That's not good. Fantastic. Now, I'm pretty sure I killed all the zombies. Killed all the zombies beforehand, so I wouldn't have this issue. Stay dead, god damn it. <laughs> oh, that one's still moving. Of course, that's not what I was actually supposed to do. <laughs> Supposed to go this way. And holy shit. Give me a break. And there we are. Wonder if there's anything in here that I had the chance of getting. I think not. 
Where the hell they come from? I, th I mean, they wouldn't have put anything in here, would they? That's just cruel. Although it kind of looks like the shadows, you know. Oh, he's on the move again. Hold on, I'll get him when he comes through here. Come on, there we go. I don't think I can come back in here, so now I think would be the last time to get anything. Twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. You gotta be kidding me. Nothing dies down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it, let's get out of here. A little confused as to why she's not wearing her jacket right now. I know I have mods installed, but I didn't install any mods to... Uh... Oh, you know what it is? Ah, oh, duh. I had it set up for the classic outfits instead of the uh, the normal ones. So she was dressed in the cocktail dress that she was wearing in the original game. Yep. Just trying to get a look. And he's gone. Of course he is. Until you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. That's got to be the hole in the ground that Ben was. Is his name Ben? Hell, I don't know. The guy in the holding cell was talking about in the. Roads out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. I don't know why that's occurring to you. I don't know. Claire seemed to think that this way was the way through. Although it's not an option. <laughs> what a mess. Wait. Oh, he sells grenades. Fantastic. <laughs> don't move. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You're gonna turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. 
We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. They did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna. Put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Just go. Just give us some privacy. It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. I originally thought, well, I had played Leon's scenario first when I was going through this game, and then I played Claire's to be scenario the first time I played. So it occurred to me originally that it was a little odd that the whole kendo scene here happened for Leon instead of Claire. And it occurred to me that, of course, it happened for Leon instead of Claire. I mean, in the original game, both characters ran in the kendo at the beginning of the game, not about halfway through, wherever the hell we are at this point. So they changed it to have only Leon encounter him. But it makes perfect sense if you have to think about it. Because Claire's story revolves pretty significantly, even though she doesn't actually spend a lot of time with the character, revolves pretty significantly around her trying to protect Sherry. Now, when you're going to go and try to show the horrors and the brutality and how it affects the innocence and all that, an easy way to do that is to show something happening to a child some disease or in this case a whole zombie outbreak some child who has to survive through it then you need to protect the child and all that kind of stuff and in some ways it makes more sense that the female character is going to have this child because of the whole like maternal side of the thing Leon has none of that in the original game he has Ada over here, and in some sense he does have to protect Ada, but she is much more capable of Cher than Sherry is. In fact, she saves Leon about just as often as Leon saves her. In fact, probably more so in this version of the game. And Leon's story is completely lacking that kind of perspective of how the zombie outbreak is affecting the innocence of the child. So, okay, if you're going to have Kendo appear in the game, have him only appear for Leon, and have him have a daughter which was infected by the T-Virus and is very close to dying. I'm assuming that was him putting her down or we only heard one gunshot. He either shot himself or he shot her and he's just still in there. 
So, it's a little cheap, but... And, and that's honestly probably the most depressing damn thing in this entire game. But it's something that had to happen for Leon. It wasn't really necessary for Claire to see this. Moving on. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. Is that the end of your conversation, or what? And that's why I'm looking for Annette Burke. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. I guess I could run. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well, sir. After you. Gee, thanks. Look at that terrible texture we got here. I don't know. It's a AAA game. It definitely is. So I kind of don't expect to ever see anything like that. But then again, you got to be kind of a crazy person to notice it. It's just because the texture is actually made to go across the top. And when they stretched it out for this section right here, it, it looks wrong. And... It's clearly not important enough for them to have ever done anything about it. <laughs> Moving on. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Corporate America, the worst Boston album. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. What the hell? Stay shot. God only knows what's down here. <laughs> nice, uh... uh... It doesn't quite work right. Because it, it's working the light shafts like there's some kind of a... Um, to some kind of a grate there. Usually, like, I'm pretty pretty big fan of the how the lighting works in this game. But it's clearly fucked up. Or, or are we seeing lighting from that side? Ah, oh, damn it. I'm criticizing it for no good fucking reason. <laughs> That's actually pretty good lighting. Oh. I feel bad. That makes me feel real bad. Get rid of some of this shit. Oh, we got the, uh... That's sweet right there. Let's get rid of it anyway. And continue cheating like a motherfucker. Whoa. Getting ammunition for no reason, because I haven't been using normal guns. Again? It's not too late to turn back, you know. It no might chance. be. You're stuck with me to the end. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. chase scene here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Uncharted games where Holy there shit! a few instances of this kind of a chase scene. Gives a little bit more 
Oh, shit. Oh, clearly I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Gives a little bit more validity to the kind of tension of the moment than the original game did. Because the original game did have this, but it was this really stupid ass. Holy it comes shit. out. It chases you a little bit down the uh, down the sewer, and then fucking gas can, like a propane canister or something. Some kind of a propane canister or some shit drops out of the wall in case of Chew emergencies. You <laughs> it, like, why, why the hell was there a damn propane tank there to begin with in case of emergencies? And what made it release? Doesn't make any damn sense. What the hell was? It? Just get up here. I mean, the uh, the gas line makes more sense here. Although, you'll probably... It wouldn't have stopped burning at this point had it been a gas line. <laughs> it, it's a little bit more plausible here. A little bit. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. <laughs> Elevators in the sewer, that makes sense. Get in, damn it. Oh, it's gonna go on so its own. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. As scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Another save room? No. Oh, yeah, it is another save room. No item box, so. That would have been nice, huh? Definitely removes handiwork. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Ada! You'll never get the G virus! Didn't expect that from a scientist. Ah. Uh. Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. 